understand that they are successful not just because they have the skill, not just because they're academically excellent, not just because they are smart, but because they have the right attitude. And I want you to understand that. That yes, we are built to have a strong academic um, background, academic skills here in design. But I want you to also find opportunities where you can develop the right attitudes. The right attitudes. That is the second point that I want you to remember. That attitude matters. Attitude really matters. There are three winning choices in life. Number one, wherever you are, be there. Wherever you are, be there. That is the power of focus. Let me know if you agree with this. Some people are there, but are not really there. Minsa nasa klase, nakaupo, pero ang utak gumagala. Okay, tinang exam, bagsa. I want you to have or to learn the power of focus. We are here in Pisay to excel academically and also to develop our attitude. And while when, um, when I was in Pisay, I saw a lot of uh, good, smart people failed because um, wala silang focus. Okay? Meron ako mga kasama sa dorm na nag-overnight sa Dotahan, sa Pilcoa. Ano ba ba kayo doon? Ay, hindi sila pumapasok, nag-overnight sila sa Pilcoa para lang mag-Dota, para mag-grab na lo. At dumabagsak sila sa mga subjects. Meron ako mga, meron ako mga kakabash, nagkaroon ng boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm not saying that that is bad, pero sumobra sila. Okay? That led them to fail some subjects. Okay? I had a batchmate na nagkaroon ng mga vices, uminom na nigarilyo, na wala sila sa focus, na wala sila sa dapat nilang tahakin, and so they failed. So number one winning choice is that wherever you are, be there. Focus your mind. That is the power of focus. Number two, if you think you can, you can. But if you, uh, but if you think you cannot, you're right. If you think you can, then you can. But if you think that you cannot, then you're right. That is the power of confidence. Sa Pisay, or paglabas nyo sa mundo, hindi pwede yung matalino ka lang. Kailangan mong i-express sa mga tao yung gusto mo. Kailangan mong i-express sa mga tao yung alam mo. Because that is the only way na makakatulong ka sa kanila. And I want you to develop the confidence. I want you to grab every opportunity that is in front of you. Sometimes we're afraid to communicate. We have a lot of fears. And fear just hinders us from growing as an individual and developing our character. Hindi pwede, uh, sa, sa panahon ngayon, hindi na pwede mahihiyain. Hindi na pwede hindi nagsasalita. Okay. You are blessed with the leadership potentials and the courage to stand up. Do not let anyone look down on you and limit the things that you can do. This is important. The fear, the word fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. So sometimes we're afraid, okay, to go out of our comfort zones. Sometimes we're afraid to communicate. Sometimes we're afraid to be confident enough to face a lot of people. But sometimes, that is just false, false evidences that are, that are appearing real into our mind. Fear is just a state of mind, okay? And um, you have to know your weaknesses and invest time and effort to turn it as your strength. And number three, that's the second. If you think you can, you really can. But if you think you cannot, then you're right. You have to have that confidence. And number three, whatever you work on, you become. That is the third winning choice for you to be successful in life. Whatever you work on, you become. So when you look at the common attitude, so we have this um, one speaker, you know Francis Kong, he talked to us one time and he said, he's a, a businessman and also a consultant to a lot of corporations and then he trained leaders and he said to us one time, 
okay? When he um, uh, reflected on one common attitude or one common thing that all successful people have in this uh, in the country and even outside the Philippines, this is what um, he found out. One common attitude of the most successful people is that they stretch yes. um, themselves. Okay, they work hard. Okay. To have, to, 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 to have the things that they want to have in life. And ganun din tayo. Minsan nahirap, but we have to work on that. Okay? Whatever you work on, you become. That is the power of formation. Yes, it could involve difficulties and sacrifices to reach your vision, to reach your dream, but you have to form yourselves. You have to stretch yourselves. Every day, look at the mirror and say, how do I level up today? What do I need to learn today for me to improve on the things that I have? So going back, that is my second point. The thing, one thing that I learned in Pisay that helped me to excel right now is that I understand that action really matters in life. Not just your academic excellence. And that leads me to my last point. You have a purpose. Sabi mo kasi tabi mo, you have a purpose. We are all is all our now. I can remember one of my advisor. Lagi siya rin sinasabi na pinapag-aral kayo ng bayan. Kung magkasos ang bansa, nagpapayo ng buwi sa mga magulang ng mga tao para na makapag-aral tayo. And that really struck my heart. Sabi ko, one day, I will return and help this country. In Lasalle, we have this one motto, Lasalle achievers for God and country. We do things, we excel academically, okay? and um, for, for us to give glory first to God and then to our country. We are trained to give back something um, for this nation. And I hope, uh, that you understand that, you're also, that you also have a special purpose in life. Okay? So the topic right now is vision, the purpose. Okay? I uh, want you na pag uwi tonight, or if you have some time, magkakaroon ng long weekend, di ba? I want you to think of that one goal, one purpose, okay, of your life. Okay? And that purpose will not just come from you, okay? It will, it will in, uh, involve approval of other people, uh, it would also include um, approval of what you have, of your skills, okay? and the will of God in your life. Okay? So, uh, most of the time, we have a lot of excuses, okay? For us, na hindi to pare ni mga purposes natin, and not to improve on the skills we have, to excel academically. But uh, bear in mind that uh, you are here for a special purpose. You are the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop. Thousands of um, high schools, of high school students, okay, tried to decide, but only 240 of you, okay, were accepted, and that is something big. You are not an ordinary person. Okay? But as Secretary Patilaga said a while ago, with great um, power comes great responsibility. Okay? You have a responsibility to fulfill to help this nation. Okay? So right now. We will play a short video clip, okay, for you to understand that God also um, uses ordinary people, okay, and that if you think that you are just an ordinary, if, you, if now you don't see yourself as someone special, as someone good, then please watch this film and this video clip, and I hope that you all learn from this video.